Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tanzil Mirza. Today we will see one more sorting algorithm and the purpose of this algorithm is to sort the elements in ascending order using the cubes of these elements. So I will be using comparator interface of Java and just to give you a quick history, this interface is used to compare two objects of same class and in our case this is going to be two integer classes like two integer okay so we have sorting algorithms we have many sorting algorithms but but in this particular cube sort algorithm what we'll do we'll have to let's say we have several elements and then we'll calculate the cube of these elements and then uh, we sort accordingly so okay let's jump into the coding directly i'll explain the code as we go along so I have created one file already called cubesort.java. Now I'll start writing the code. Okay. So first thing first, I'm going to create one class. Let's say the name is cubesort. And the main method. But before writing the main, before writing the main, I'm going to write the function to sort the cubes of the array. Okay. So I don't want to create any object. I'll just that that's the reason i'm going to uh, declare this method as a static static and the return type will be void i'll call it let's say sort array integer type and okay this is the array okay the first parameter is the array itself and n is the limit of of that array integer this creating and simply creating an integer integer array and size will be n whatever we pass and then what we'll do we'll just iterate through that i we know this right i i is less than n i plus plus and then i'm just trying to create a copy of this element okay i'm just copying that original ar array into this local array semicolon now the algorithm for sorting array dot sort passing the array and then instantiating okay i'll just do new comparator integer it's gonna be like this public int compare integer a and integer b int x is equals to now let's calculate the cube parse it into int and then math dot pow we know this method right parse it again into int and then math dot b raised to power 3 okay we are uh, simply calculating it and then what will return we will compare if x is less than y uh, i'll be using the ternary operator Okay, conditional thing minus one if x is less than y then return minus one otherwise otherwise return y that's it okay what else is remaining why there is an error i think i forgot to put the semicolon okay now what we have to do uh, after this thing now we'll just print the error okay i forgot to add the comments print the array i'll just simply print the array and our very own for loop 
i is 0 i is less than n and then i plus plus we've been doing this thing since a very long time right so system this out work or not i don't know yeah it works okay I've tried this in IntelliJ and, and then that means there it works, but I was not sure about the VS code. So yeah, that works. System dot 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 printer and what we want to print is print is array of i and then we'll give some space also. Done. Now this is the what we can say is caller code this will call the whatever we have created till now it will create that okay static word mean now the original array or we can say the initial array i'm going to pass the initial array and i'll just hard code some values okay uh, let's say 4 minus 2 0 5 what i'm doing minus 9 and then 3 i think this is enough int n is equals to what yes the length of the array and then we'll call the function call the method okay, of which method call the sort arr method the one which we have just created over here and there is some spelling mistake this is void and this is sort array array and then we have to pass this arr and n that's it done let's save the code okay, let me add the comments also and then we'll run this program together and this method is actually method to sort the cubes of the array elements okay and yeah this is actual method that will compare or we can say sort kind of thing not exactly but yeah compare and sort and here we are printing it okay i think i have added the required comments also let's save the code and try to run this guy okay java c cube sort java okay there is an error what's the okay first thing first there is a spelling mistake comparator okay and one more thing we should be importing or we'll just say everything okay let's try to compile it again let me make some room first clear let me make some room okay again there is an error what's what's wrong with this now array dot sort let me see okay what it is saying is okay that's obvious it's unable to find that symbol because it's not array it's arrays okay i missed that s over there and that has to be from the util dot arrays okay now that should work but i noticed one more thing over here it's um, it's red because yeah i forgot to initialize that variable now it should work let me clear everything from the console and try to run it again 
and yes it got compiled let's do this quickly java cube sort and mind that this is our original array so what it should be uh, it should be in this order right minus 9 minus 2 0 and then 3 4 5 let's run this and then see and yes we got this it's in the sorted order minus 9 minus 2 0 3 4 5 okay so that's how the cube sort is performed that's how it is done it is done and the time it's nothing i mean there's not nothing much to discuss about that so what we are basically doing we are uh, picking up one element e element by element and then then we are calculating the cube of that and then we are accordingly just sorting it okay and the time complexity is time complexity is o n multiply by log n this is the time complexity okay and yeah so this is it thank you so much for watching this video guys uh, see you in the next video with some more interesting content till then take care thank you so much